Hey guys, so I am at home and earlier this morning I had to go out to wash clothes and run a few errands and it was 21 degrees. I had to sit in my car for like 30 minutes because there was like at least an inch of ice on my windshield and it took a while for it to defrost. I was out with a scraper, just ice going everywhere. It was a mess. Um, where I live at right now in Texas, there is a winter advisory. There's a big storm possibly coming. I'm actually off of work for the next few days because of it. And it got me to thinking about winter safety tips, especially for someone like me who's a native Floridian and is not really used to these temperatures. Um, I wanted to give you all a few adult daily living skills winter safety tips. But before I get started, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right guys, so as you can see, I got a few things here and this is a part of my disaster preparation kit. So being that I'm from Florida, I'm used to hurricanes. And really, if you're preparing for a storm, the basics are still the same. You need a disaster preparedness kit with some different types of food and other things that you should probably have in, in your house in case of a storm. So right here, I got some bread. You know, let's just say the power were, uh, was to go out and you couldn't, you know, pop open the microwave or the oven, you're gonna need some bread. Of course, PB&J. Okay, it'll keep you fed. So make sure you always keep PB&J. I also have some tuna right here. Tuna is an easy meal, easy to prepare, does not need to be warmed up or anything like that. Always keep this in your pantry anyway. And because this is a can that doesn't just open by itself, you need to make sure you have your non-electric can opener. That's very, very important. If you have an electric can opener, it's fine in case the power doesn't go out, but for a backup, make sure you keep your non-electric one as well. I got some kidney beans here, okay? Beans can make an easy, quick meal. Uh, if the power were not to go out, then I'd probably make some chili or something, which could last a few days. And that reminds me, so you want to make sure that you're preparing food that would last a few days, so like chili you can get like three days out of. I know I have some cheese broccoli rice that I made like yesterday. That's gonna last me a few days. So in case the power is not out, go ahead and cook something that'll last you. Um, also, your flashlight, you need your flashlight. I remember the last hurricane I was in, the power was out, I think it was Irma. The power was out for like five days where I was and this little paint flashlight got me through. So make sure you have the flashlight. Um, in my hand, I have a battery. Um, I need to go get some more. Make sure you have batteries on standby because this is battery power. And you may have like a, you may need a radio to kind of know what's going on as far as any storm updates. It's most likely going to need batteries. So make sure you have some batteries. You can get those from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Your first aid kit, okay? I got me some ibuprofen. I got some band-aids. I also have like alcohol peroxide. Uh, you may want like the bandage wraps, but you want to make sure that you do have your first aid kit. You never know what could happen and you may not be able to run out and go to the store. Candles, okay? You need candles and not just the ones that smell good. Even though these are the ones that smell good, um, I do have other candles. You want candles that are going to, you know, be enough light for you in case the power were to go out. So make sure you have candles. If you're gonna have candles, you need your lighter, right? So make sure you have a lighter as well. And hot chocolate. So I actually have me some hot chocolate. You wanna make sure you know that you got things that's gonna keep you warm and that taste good, right? So keep yourself some hot chocolate. Mm. <laughs> water is another thing. Make sure that you have enough water to last a few days. And then there's other little things that I like to keep in my disaster preparedness kit as well. I just got my new Cosmo with scissor on the front, so I'll be I'll make sure I'll be reading that this uh, week while I'm off. Or maybe you want to have your favorite book or podcast on standby. You just need something to kind of get you through the lull so you're not just sitting around bored. 
All right, guys, so here are a few household things that you need to do as well. Uh, as you can see, my heat is definitely on and it is on 76 right now because I am just really cold. But make sure that you have your heat on and that you have it, I would say, at least at 70 degrees. Mine is, of course, a little over that. But depending on, you know, what temperature you typically like to stay warm, just make sure you have the heat on and make sure it's right over 70. Something else, before you go to bed, you wanna make sure that you leave your water just running just a little in case the pipes uh, were to freeze or so the pipes don't freeze. Make sure that you just turn your water on. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do, but just a little drip, just like that. You just want a nice little drip to keep those pipes flowing. Also, keep your cabinet doors open just to make sure your pipes are staying ventilated. That means you also need to keep your bathroom door open as well. Now, as you can see, I still got my grump tree going from Christmas. It's not outside, it's inside. But if you have plants, you wanna make sure that your plants are protected. So if you got outside plants that you can bring in the house, like potted plants, make sure you bring them inside. Or if you can't, put a blanket around them to cover them so they don't freeze and die. Okay, so clothing is another big thing, especially if you have to go outside. Like I went out earlier and you can see I got my big sweater on. I'm dressed in layers. I have a shirt underneath. I got some nice comfy pants on. So if you have to go outside, make sure that you dress in layers so that you don't freeze or you don't get sick. We are still in a pandemic, so make sure you're wearing your mask. When you're around your house, especially like me, if you have hardwood floors, don't forget your fuzzy socks. I love fuzzy socks and my feet get so cold. Um, and you can just pick up a pair from Dollar Tree for $1. Y'all know I love Dollar Tree. But you wanna make sure that you're dressing appropriately so that you don't get sick and so you're comfortable as well. You also need an emergency plan. So you got your disaster preparedness kit, you're making sure everything around the house is taken care of. But in case there was an emergency, you want to make sure that you have some things set in place. So like maybe you have your neighbor's phone numbers that you can reach out to in case there was an emergency and you would be able to go to their home or, or they would be able to come over and assist you. Maybe you have a family member on speed dial that would be able to get to you in a quick enough manner in case something were to happen. But you wanna make sure that even though you're preparing at home, emergencies still happen. So please be sure that you have someone, of course you can always dial 911, but you also wanna have someone too that can get to you quickly and that can assist you in case something big were to happen. And make sure you have some fun things to do. You have some fun things listed. So I know I'm gonna catch up on some shows. A lot of great movies are coming out and now you can see them straight from your TV. So I'm going to be sure to go ahead and catch up on some movies, maybe watch some Hulu, uh, maybe catch up with some friends too that I've been so busy with school and work that I haven't had a chance to talk to. And I'll also be on my blog over at dukeanddigsdisability.org. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Drop down in the comments and let me know how you prepare for winter storms or how you just stay warm during the winter, especially for somebody like me who, like I said, is from Florida. Drop down in the comments and let me know. Also, if you have any questions about how you can stay safe during the winter or maybe anything that you should be doing or something that you do that I didn't mention, let me know as well. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.